we're tracking some big Arizona sports stories that stretch all the way to LA. Cronkite News reporter Stephanie Edwards joins us live from our Los Angeles bureau. Thanks, Al. We begin at Dodger Stadium. That's where reporter Chris Ramos sat down with former ASU outfielder Andre Ether to discuss his upcoming induction into the Sun Athletic Hall of Fame. First off, I just want to say congrats on being inducted into the ASU Hall of Fame. So what does this honor mean to you? I grew up in Phoenix, grew up an, uh, an Arizona State fan, and uh, I can remember walking you know, through those hallways with my dad as a little kid in the Wells Fargo Arena and seeing those Hall of Fame members up on the wall and uh, and you know staring at those plaques and seeing that stuff and uh, you know now I get a chance to you know have mine up there with you know along with those is a you know a pretty neat thing to be a part of. You and your wife are going to be the first married couple inducted into the yeah. ASU Hall of Fame. Yeah. So we planned that. So what's it like you guys just going in together? Uh, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, you know to look from where we started at ASU to where we're at now. Um, you know, in our lives, uh, you know, two boys of our own and, you know, them starting their school and, and them playing sports. And um, it's going to be a neat thing for them uh, later on in their life to see, uh, uh, I guess, a glimpse of, uh, you know, where their parents met and, and uh, you know, first got started together. Did you ever believe as a freshman that you'd be walking into a packed Sun Devil Stadium and with an award like this? Uh, no, but you probably hope and dream that stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you actually hope and dream. I never did when I was there. I just wanted to you know, figure out a way to be successful, um, whether it be on the, on the baseball field or be as a, as a student. And uh, it was one where, uh, you know, balancing uh, baseball and academics is, is tough and, uh, you know, being successful in either one of them. You know, being successful in just one is tough, but doing both of them at the same time is, is, is a pretty tough thing to do. And, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to, uh, you know, figure out a way, um, you know, having to put those extra hours in the study hall to, you know, stay in the batting cage and, and figuring out times to lift weights when I could. And, um, you know, for me, I, uh, you know, was uh, lucky enough to get drafted high and, and, and figure out a way to end up where I am today.